Hello and welcome to the Minutes Within the Myths, where we brave the jungles to bring you cryptids, ghosts, and other mysteries. Today, we look under the leaves to tell you about the zombie ants. In the jungles of Brazil, you might find a carpenter ant clinging to a leaf's central vein. Its claws are clamped tight for dear life. But much like a true horror movie, this ant's life is already over, and its body belongs to the zombie ant fungus. When the fungus first enters its host, it exists as single cells that float around in the ant's bloodstream. They bud off and make new copies of themselves, but at some point, these single cells start working together. They connect to each other by building short tubes so they can communicate and exchange nutrients. The fungus grows through the insect's bodies, invading the ant's muscles. They either penetrate the muscle cells themselves, or they create a network of interconnected yellow fungus cells. Over the course of a week, the fungus compels the zombified ant to leave the safety of its nest and climb a nearby plant stem. It sends signals through its networks, moving the limbs against any control from the ant. It stops the ant at a height of 25 centimeters a zone with precisely the right temperature and humidity for the fungus to grow. It forces the ant to permanently lock its mandibles around the leaf. Eventually, it sends a long stalk through the ant's head, growing into a bulbous capsule full of spores. Because the zombified ant typically climbs a leaf that overhangs its colony's foraging trails, the fungus spores rain down on its sister ants below. They, in turn, are zombified as well. The scariest part of this story is that the scientists have proven this to be true. At least it's limited to only ants. I hope you enjoyed these minutes with the zombie ants. Join us at the Within the Mist podcast for more cryptids, ghosts, and other mysteries. But until then, watch for the fungus and remain constantly curious.